This short video will walk you through the steps of submitting a Banner password reset and creating a new password. Step 1 is to submit your request. You will submit your request through ServiceNow. To access the link, go to tnstate.edu forward slash banner and select the ServiceNow link. When the ServiceNow page opens, you will be prompted to log in. Enter your Tennessee State University email address and password. Then, click the Login button. When the ServiceNow page opens, select the Create New link on the left side of the page. Enter the required information in the service request as indicated by the red mark next to the field. You can use the search icons to the right of the field to search for values for that field. When you have finished filling out all of the required information, click the Submit button located in the upper right hand corner of the window. When your password has been reset, you will receive an email. Your temporary password, which is a combination of case-sensitive letters and numbers, will be included in the email. Sign into Banner as usual or go to www.tnstate.edu forward slash banner to begin the next step. After signing into Banner with your temporary password, you will be prompted to change it. When prompted to log on, enter your Banner username and the temporary password you received. Continue by clicking on the Connect button. When the password has expired warning displays, Click the OK button to continue. Re-enter the temporary password that was emailed to you in the old password field. Enter your new password and then confirm your password by entering it in the Retype New Password field. Click OK to continue. Please note that your new password must contain at least one uppercase letter and one number. It must also be at least eight characters long and cannot have been previously used. When your password is reset, Banner will open. To quickly review, we learned that requesting a Banner password reset is as easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. We submitted our request. 2. We received our temporary password. Then 3. We created our new password.